Hey Bear Squad, what is up? We are at our Randolph Tire Warehouse location today and we are going to do a collection. Check this out. So uh, this was really efficient. We were in and out at a very good rate of speed. I'm super happy about that. This video's the actual service time was something like 17 minutes. And the video is only 10 minutes. So I'm wicked excited about how well things are working out here. The, uh, the new format we have for the van is killing it. It's doing really well. Uh, we're getting in and out of locations quickly. Uh, the less time that we spend out servicing locations, the more money we make per hour. So I'm, I'm very excited. That box right there was open. That's why we set it a different way than normal. I'm gonna bring one of the uh, surges in. I forgot something in the van. Probably those. Uh, we just noticed that we we're uh, missing a bag. <laughs> That's no good. Toss that sucker in there. And we've got everything we need for this specific service. Head in there, we got a guy with a trailer full of tires that he's putting away right now. And I'm trying to make sure that uh, I don't knock anything over on my way in. Uh, they're kind of busy right now. I walked through the door and they had quite a few people going. It also looks like I could have set, uh, I could have set the GoPro up just a little bit better. What did I forget this time? Keys? I leave the key. No, keys are right there. I didn't realize I had to go. Oh, phone. Again, I think I forget the phone like every single time. I'd be surprised at how often I go out there and the phone's only got like 25% battery life. It's never fun. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get into the Royal first. Good old Royal 660. We'll open that machine right up. Oh, uh, my buddy owns that uh, candy machine over there, and I wanted to send him a picture, let him know what the levels were like on his machine. That must be doing pretty good. Uh, I think he, uh, I think he's used pretty much. I think that was full the last time he dropped it off, so I think they've used a lot of product. All right, so uh, these guys, these guys are going through Coca-Cola a lot going through a huge amount of coca-cola I can't remember how much we filled it up with last time I thought we filled it to the top we might have filled it to the top might be we might need to move water over to where the coca-cola is and I don't know we'll see what we we'll see what we get from it uh, so we're just going through and counting up our product for this machine before we uh, add anything we got a do a lot of moving on this machine because we have everything that we need but we have to reach behind the uh, we have to reach behind the Minute Maid lemonade there so instead of doing that instead of pulling it all out and putting it back we're just gonna take the Minute Maid put it where the coke was fill up the orange soda and then put coca-cola in front of the orange soda count up those those three columns there are dedicated to Mountain Dew we got monster and then we have the uh, surge in the back there um, I have decided to bring monster back because of the new location they are actually going through monster uh, first we're gonna go and move all this stuff over do that as quickly as we can here Once we get that moved over, we can put the orange soda behind there. There we go. Got to remember to switch our graphics as well. Boy, I'm trying to remember switching the graphic now, and uh, I, I can't actually remember doing it, so I'm definitely hoping that I see myself do it in this video as we go through. So we've got that almost completed. Just got those two last cans in the bottom, and now we can get the orange soda in the back there. Open that sucker up. Get the orange soda in there. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. 
So the reason I've got 12 packs and not 24 packs, I'm actually surprised no one's answered, uh, asked this question, is because uh, a lot of these were on sale for like 250 a pop. Um, and I'll deal with 12 packs all day long for 250. <laughs> Uh, that's like 26, 20, actually I think it's like, yeah, I think it's like 25 or 26 cents a can. It's pretty darn good. Alright, so, we've got that filled all the way up. Throw that out. Grab the old, good old Coca-Cola. Fill that up the best we can. Gonna have this machine in good shape by the time we're done with it here. What do we got after that? Uh, we got another thing of Coca-Cola to put in, Minute Maid lemonade, and then we're pretty much done here. Well, we still have to service the snack machine as well. Uh, this location was uh, a little bit slower than it was the week previous. Every location that I visited on this run was pretty slow. Uh, aside from the new one, obviously, but uh, we still did really well. All right, getting that all filled up. Go right to the top of that one. Now enter everything in Vensoft so we can move on to the next one. Here's the fun part. Gonna make some money. Toss all the coins right in there. Pull that guy out. A little stack there. It's not too bad. This is a seven day collection for those of you who are curious. Uh, realistically, this location should be on a one month collection, but for uh, YouTube purposes, I service it weekly. Break down these boxes, get a little bit cleaner of a workspace here. This is another one where I really should have cleaned the glass on the machine. I was in a bit of a rush because the first two locations I hit um, this day were, they took way longer than they should have. So it set us back, actually it set us back like an hour and a half, or way, way past where we should be. We made up a lot of time on this location though. We got a lot done really quickly. All right, so we're in here. We gotta move a couple things around. Uh, the second stack, we're gonna move the uh, Doritos over. Uh, so we've got Doritos straight across the line. We're gonna move the uh, sour cream over one and then put the uh, Lay's potato chips in double rows there. These guys up. I think we move them while we're there too. Possibly. Yep, we're just gonna move them right while we're there. I don't know why I moved three. I don't need to. It's kind of silly that I do that. We're gonna move this guy over. Watch, well, there's six there, so I guess three makes sense. I think that gives us pretty much full face machine. Count these up real quick. I gotta ask the guys what they want for snacks in there because they're just not eating the snacks that are in there. Those two over and go too wide on those. And then we're going to collect some money. There we go. Pull this guy out, see what we got for cash. Change first, cash second. Uh, not too bad, actually. Did, did pretty good, huh? 
So I folded it in half so we could count it later. Overall, I'd say uh, that was actually a pretty good run. Did all right with it. Head back out to the van and call it a day. Move on to the next location. But uh, that's about it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it overall. Um, there should be a couple of videos popping up. You're welcome to click either one of them. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure that you do. Uh, I put out a video every single day at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, Bear Squad, peace out. Thank you so much again.